This is the mini overland trailer that is for sale. The back has the opens up to a little kitchen area. It's currently riding on 37 1250 tires. The tires are brand new, the wheels are brand new. The bolt pattern is five on five, just like a JL, JK, JT, um, but they are running on adapter spacers. So you can also run five and four and a half, like a TJ, XJ, um, any, anything earlier than 2006 as well. I upgraded the axle to a 3,500 pound axle to handle the, the bigger tires. Custom fenders, custom bumper with a hitch um, that you can you know, attach a, a bike rack to if you wanted to. That's what I, That was my intention to have a bike rack back there because this was originally built for my uh, Wrangler to uh, tow behind. The trailer itself only weighs about 900 pounds before the wheels and tires, so I'm, I'm assuming it weighs somewhere around 1100, 1200 pounds loaded up. Custom box on the front that opens up inside of there. I keep the, uh, I have a diesel heater that attaches to those ports there um, and I, that will go with the trailer. It's a uh, diesel heater designed for um, the cabs of, of big rig trucks. It has a solar system on it. The only thing that it may need is the, the, the house battery. That's the small house battery in there, I believe, is dead. But I am going to include a 75 amp hour, a, a huge battery that I was going to wire up to be able to run the heater and everything that you can mount inside the box in the front. Uh, that will go with this. It's a brand new 75 amp hour um, gel battery for this. So you'll be able to run an inverter off for a while. Uh, 75 amp hours will run things for a very long time. This piece here folds out inside to be a table um, inside the trailer. The trailer is eight foot by five foot. Both windows open. The door has a, has a, has a screen as well to open up. It's pretty spacious inside for what it is. Let's see the solar panels are working. I just think that little house battery that goes in there is dead. That's been sitting for a while. It will come with this couch that folds out to a, folds into a bed fits perfectly inside there it's a memory foam kind of couch that fits in here these are the vents that go on the outside that plug in so you can actually hook up an air conditioner as well they make an air conditioner for this uh, setup that go that mounts onto the front rack it has in-floor storage here both these open up. I'll include the two stabilizing jacks as well. Another in-floor storage over here. So it's, it's nice to have some, some storage in here that does rattle around inside when you're moving around. It's a two-inch bowl. All in all, it's in very good shape. The only little dings or issues would be the wind caught the back door at one point in time and bent right here slightly. Um, it, it doesn't affect the door closing. It just um, it, it just shows that little dent. I was re I was going to replace it with. A piece of uh, tread aluminum like the front, the whole door, just to cover it with a piece of tread aluminum just to make it stronger. I never got around to that. The back fuel can you could use for anything. I have it. this is actually holding diesel right now. I know it's red, but it's holding diesel for that little heater 
that is mounted or that you can um, use in the winter time for the, the cab. I had it wrapped to, uh, for my other Jeep, but my JT is white, so I left it white. So I pulled off the wrap for the white. There's the trailer.